Okay, this is UAC base. It's a first map. This person's looking for some feedback. We're gonna give them some feedback. That's the plan, anyway. Oops. Ultraviolence. Yeah, okay. Here we go. It is designed for free look and jumping and stuff, but I'm gonna try it without free look and just see what happens. Hey, give me. Said it was designed for jumping, so we're gonna jump. Kinda like this computer console. Looks neat. Okay. Okay. Did that just open the window or something? What is this one gonna do? Hmm. Okay, it's like an E1M one. Okay. Let's just use the shotgun. We've got a decent number of shells for it. I bet that switch on the other side lowered this. Yeah, must have. Thanks, shotgunner, for keeping it lowered for us. That was nice of you. Let's look around a bit more. Short level. It's possible that just like an E1M1, one, one, I've got to open this door before something else. Yeah, okay, so that's the exit. Mm hmm. Mmm. Oh. Look at this. Am I going to drown if I stay down here? Here we go. There. We did it. We got the secrets. We got the kills. We're gonna blow ourselves up a little bit for funsies. And that's about it. Okay, well, you know what? That was a fun little level. Free lock, not mandatory. However, jumping, I think. I probably could have beaten that without jumping, as long as it didn't go in the water. Um, yeah, I liked it. As a little E1M1 replacement, it was pretty fun. Felt roughly the same in difficulty as E1M1. Maybe even slightly easier. Um, but it had the same sort of secrets, but rearranged in different ways. Yeah, okay. It was, it was pretty cool. I'm in. I'm down. And uh, that's about all I have to say about that. So, see.